Now let's take a look at how we can reuse geometry as a base for our new topology. So let's concentrate on the cowl here, this carved piece. So if you have your geometry from the very first course, you can go ahead and use that. Otherwise you could grab this scene file if you want to use this one. The key is that the geometry that you created it from, the low resolution geometry, before we send it over to ZBrush to be sculpted, we can actually use that as a base. And so I'm gonna turn on this Maya base. And so this is the object that we're talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it out here. Let's actually remove this from the layer and then I'll turn that layer off. So this is the piece of geometry that I'm talking about. And it's the one that I wanna use as a base. We could certainly go through the whole process of using quad draw to create a new topology for this completely by scratch. That's another way to do it. Uh, but if we already have a piece of geometry that fits in the position and the position of the points and makes sense to use, we can certainly do that. Now, the thing that I don't like about this right now is that it is so faceted. If we take a look at the silhouette of this, you can see straight line, straight line, straight line, like up and around these areas, it's, it's really jagged. And knowing that we're not gonna be smoothing this at all for our game, it lets me know that maybe the silhouette isn't exactly what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the body and some of the other geometry here. I'm gonna go ahead and hide some of that. And let's hide the medallion. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the necklace and our eye. So we're kind of looking at this. All right, so what we need to do is we need to be able to get something that is uh, a little bit smoother on the outline, but we also still want it to be fairly low resolution. So the first thing that I'm going to do, you can see that there is a trough in mine. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the edges that are sort of support edges for that. I'm gonna select those and hit Control and then delete those. So we don't need that extra geometry in there. We don't need any support edges. Now I'm also going to take and cut this in half because to me, it's a lot easier to work on half an object than work on a whole object. So even though we can use symmetry, I'm going to turn this off for now. Now I want to delete half of this, but before I do that, I'm actually going to smooth this. And so before I do, I want to make sure, look and see if there are any extra edges. So we've got, this is another support edge that we don't need right here. So we can double click on that, hit control and delete. All right, now I'm gonna smooth it before I, I actually wanna delete half of this, but I'm gonna smooth it first. And when I say smooth, I'm not gonna just hit three, I'm gonna actually add polygon. So we're gonna go to mesh, smooth, and let's leave our divisions at one. All right, and let's go ahead and delete our history. And then I wanna delete half of this. So I can come in here Get rid of that half and then double click on that and now i'm le left with this half all right now i know already that this geometry follows along with the geometry that i have in my high res i know this because i made that high res out of this geometry and so what i really want to do now is simply reduce the resolution on this okay what i really like is having this softness around the silhouette so having this divided really really helps but in other areas it doesn't help as much. So in these open smooth areas, it doesn't really help me, especially coming down here where they're sort of squeezing together. It doesn't help as much. And so I could make this a quad draw session and start to edit it that way, or I can simply come in and grab these points or these edges and start to get rid of those. So you see in here, we have some edges that are more sort of support looking edges, like right in the center here. You can hit control and delete. Control will get rid of those points as well. All right. We can also come in and start to uh, take some points and, and merge them together. And so for instance, I could come in here and grab these two and we'll go to merge. And I can simply merge those together. I'm not deleting them. I'm merging them so that there go right to that center point and then I don't have to worry about the shape being off because I know they'll go kind of to the middle point midpoint and so we can come in here and merge these 
together. We could do the same thing down here. So let's go ahead and merge these all the way down. When I get down here, I can decide if I like the smoothness, if I can still get the smoothness, if I merge those, if not, just leave it. Okay. And then we'll continue coming down here. Okay. We can go down, continue down these lines. We could, you know, pick one of these we could also just double click on this and see if we can just get rid of it. And maybe this one as well. Doesn't change the silhouette, so that's good. So that gives us along this, going this direction, kind of reduces that amount. We can also do the same thing up here. So for instance, we could take this, merge these together going across. That gives us a very low resolution in the center where we don't have any indication. It's just a flat sort of plane. Uh, we don't have any indication of a silhouette, but we still get the detail here. So that lets us get kind of the best of both worlds if we do that. Because thinking, think about this part of the model, you're never going to see it. You know, you'll see maybe this part, but it's a, uh, you can see it's very sloped. And so you're going to be fine being able to do that. And so we can come in here and if there are areas where the curve is really, you know, extensive and you don't want to do that, that's fine. You don't have to do it everywhere. We can kind of skip, skip around a little bit, but each one, each time we do this, it gets rid of a couple of triangles. Let's kind of come down here and maybe, maybe these two and kind of leave those at the end. Okay. And kind of come down like that. So you can get something like this. If we wanted to go ahead and do this one, we could do that too on how low you wanted to go. So again, that gives us this edge that we want while still giving us that open area in the center. And you can see here we have on the back side, we can go ahead and clean this up too. And so we could do that in the same way. I'll go ahead and let you do that. But uh, when you're done, we can go ahead and duplicate this back over. So once you're done, simply go to mesh, mirror, and we can go ahead and we want to combine it to original, make sure our merge threshold is down pretty low. And that gives you your whole thing. All right. Which is going to be much lower res, but still match up with the carved geometry that we have. And we're able to bake maps from that. So if you're able to reuse geometry, go for it. It's going to save you time and, uh, and save you some work too. Now, if you're going to have to go a long ways to get that original geometry to match what you want to do, you know, you have to weigh that and see, is it going to be worth, is it going to be more work to do that than to just do it from scratch? So it's always kind of a, a back and forth and figuring out what the best option is. But if you do have some geometry that you built this from and you're able to reuse it, more power to you. So the next thing that we want to do is take a look at the belt. So we can do something similar with the belt and some of the other wood pieces. So we'll do that next.